It's the Daily Dog. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today. My friends, on this Wednesday episode, I am making it a Woman Wednesday. We are going into the Daily Dog vault and accessing a reaction to The Flying Dutchman by Tori Amos. I uh, did this reaction during our Fan Favorites episode on my Patreon during the month of March. March was uh, International Women's Month, and that month we were interested in some great music by female artists. And this particular song was included on that countdown. Now, uh, Tori Amos came um, to prominence while I was in high school, and uh, I know some of Tori's music, but I never heard this one. And I was absolutely blown away by it, y'all. So uh, no more uh, diddle-dallying. Let's get right on into uh, my reaction to The Flying Dutchman by Tori Amos, filmed back in March of this year. This is Tori Amos. And uh, The Flying Dutchman uh, is, is the song. I uh, was, you know, in high school and college when Tori came to prominence, and I knew... I've heard her so stuff, I've heard her stuff, but I've never really uh, been drawn to her. Uh, but uh, I think that it may just have not been the right time. So I am uh, looking forward to this quite a bit. This one comes to us from Nick. Thank you, Nick. Uh, Nick says, originally relegated to the B-side of uh, the single China from Tori's debut solo album, Little Earthquakes, this song claimed its rightful place as an album track on the 2015 deluxe edition reissue makes sense uh, little earthquakes was voted the fourth greatest album of all time by a female artist by readers of q magazine in 2002 wow in uh, 2020 rolling stone placed it halfway up their 500 greatest albums of all time list this particular track of course, showcases Tori's distinctive, impassioned vocals and piano playing uh, to full effect, but it is the orchestral backing that makes it truly special. Cool. I don't think that I've heard this, especially if it wasn't on the original tune or on the original album. Um, uh, so I found something about this too. This is going to take uh, a you know maybe a minute or two to go through. But I, th I thought this was really interesting about this as I was reading in. <clears throat> the artist and author Rantz, R-A-N-T-Z, uh, Hosley, H-O-S-E-L-E-Y, is the inspiration for this song. And I found this interview where he spoke about how the song came about. Check this out. He says, okay, so back in 88 and 89, around there, things were not going for... Uh, this is from a uh, an interview, a transcript of an interview. Uh, back in 88, 89, around there, things were not going very well for either Tori or uh, myself. We had been friends for a few years at the time, and we're both, how do I say this, stifled, I guess. Tori and I spent a lot of time on the phone talking about what we wanted to do with our lives, as it were. Basically giving each other support and saying, this is a shitty time, it'll pass. We deserve better. Anyway, Tori got back on her feet a little faster than I did and started working on her new album for Atlantic Records. She called me up during one of her bouts of writing and asked me, Rance, if you had to describe yourself as something, what would it be? Now, this in particular was a bad time. I can't remember what, I was, uh, what was going on, but I was very depressed. So I told her, Tori, I am the Flying Dutchman. The interviewer says, why the Flying Dutchman? Good follow-up question. He says, that's exactly what she asked. I explained, A, the majority of my lineage is Dutch. Okay, makes sense. And B, the story fits me right now. Tori told me that she was not familiar with the story, so I got the Cliff's Note version of it, uh, how Captain, uh, and told her, how uh, Captain Van Eyck, uh, faced with a brutal storm, implored God to save his men. There was no answer, and the captain called on God twice more with the same result. Finally, fearing for the safety of his men, he called on the devil and made a deal that if he and his men traveled to safety, the devil could save and have, sorry, could have his soul. The devil agreed and the storm dissipated. No sooner had the storm dissipated than an angel came down from heavens informing uh, Van Eyck that he had betrayed God. And Van Eyck protested saying God had abandoned him. 
Uh, but the angel would not be swayed and told Van Eyck, for your crime against the Lord, you are cursed to sail the sea forever, to never find safe harbor or the comfort of the shore or home. End quote. And then he says, I thought that was pretty apt considering what I was feeling at the time. You're cursed to sail the sea forever, never finding safe harbor or the comfort of shore or the home. I am the Flying Dutchman. So this song was inspired by, or Tori was writing about her friend, I believe, in this song. So let's hear it. I don't think I've ever heard this. So uh, um, I'm, I'm eager to take a look. The Flying Dutchman from Tori Amos, the 2015 remastered version. Off we go. suspensions. Hey kid, I got a ride for you. The intro was in C, they but that's E flat. Your no, brain is a comic oh. book tattoo and oh. you'll never be anything. What will you do this is with cool. your life? Oh, that's all you hear from noon till night. Take a trip on a rocket ship, baby, where the sea is the sky. It's back to like it was in the beginning. That's the four. Straight suits, they don't understand. Interesting. She's really smart. That one with the alligator boots, but the other side drew. Brightens up. The sea is the sky. Another guy who runs the place and he's out of sight. Flying Dutchman. She reminds me a lot of Kate Bush. Like a 90s, 2000s version of Kate Bush. Especially vocally. Cause they can't see what you're born to be. Can't see what you're born they to be. can't see me. They can't be what they can't believe. They So well. 
Take a trip on a rocket ship, baby. The skill of all of this, y'all. I've got to hear, I've got to no, listen to this again. So she gets back to this. I would consider this like a chorus. And these are just C chords, F chords, and G chords, but the rest of it ain't. It's a special recording. Indeed, it is a very special recording. It's amazing, right? I mean, uh, I look back into it. It's just Tori. She's on piano. She's on the vocals, and she programmed the uh, the digital orchestration that we hear. So it's it's an amazing achievement and a wonderful song. Uh, as I listen back through it today and uh, was preparing to uh, to introduce it and then close it out. Uh, that closing section, that Mixolydian progression that she uses in the closing section uh, really does, I think, highlight the plight that the Flying Dutchman in the mythology and her friend was feeling at that time. If you are cursed to forever sail and never find the comfort of home, that uh, Mixolydian's uh, progression from flat seven down to four down to um, down to one is a progression that can perpetuate us. It can keep us in the same sort of spot. And that can either be a good thing or a bad thing, right? If we are in a great place, then we want to stay there and stretch it out as long as possible. Uh, think of the ending of Hey Jude by the Beatles. It's the same type of progression. Right? It just keeps going on and on. You could do the na na hey hey's for a long, long time. Right? It just works that way. Her uh, piece is very similar. Uh, the progression is exactly the same, except in her instance, with all of the movement, right? You're on the sea, you're on the sea, you're on the sea, and it might be pretty, or there might be parts of it that uh, are good, but you never find the comforts of home, and it just keeps on chugging there at the end. That's what came to my mind as I was listening to it again, and I wanted to share that with y'all. She's amazing, isn't she? Tori Amos, what a fantastic uh, musician. I love the lyrics. I love the writing on this, so I do want to definitely get more into her music, but it was important for me to share this one that wasn't even on her uh, album. Her first album initially was just a B-side, and I think it was definitely worthy. I love this uh, song. So thanks y'all for being here for The Flying Dutchman by Tori Amos. We will see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug. <laughs>